All right. So what I want to do is I want to solve for my value x where my solutions are going to be on the, um, on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. So to do a problem like this, we're looking at, we're saying, all right, so so far we've always had, um, we always just had one trig function, and we just applied our inverse operations to solve for it, right? And that was, you know, kind of pretty basic what to do. But now we have a sine and a cosine. Excuse me? Yes. Mr. McLogan? Yes. Do you have Hunter Tally in there? No, I do not. Would you please send her to K102, please? She's not in class today. She's not in class today. No, right, she's thank not. Thank you. Yep. Um, so, so what we need to do is we need to evaluate, we can't evaluate for two different functions because, right, the cosine value, the cosine of a point is going to be dealing with your x coordinate and the sine is going to be dealing with your y coordinate. So somehow what we need to do is be able to rewrite these as the same trig function. And so what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these on the same side. So therefore I have sine squared of x equals, I'm sorry, minus 3 cosine squared of x equals 0. So I'm going to put these on the same side because somehow I need to combine them. Now, we have a problem is we can't combine them because they're not the same function. However, by using my Pythagorean identities, going back to this, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1, I can now transform cosine into sine. If you want to trans sine into cosine, that's fine. Give it a shot. See where it comes in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform these to be the same. So this would be negative 3 times 1 minus sine squared of x equals 0. The reason why I would do this is you guys see how now I have the same function? Do you guys see how now I have the same function? That's what you need. You can only evaluate for one function at a time. So now what I'll do is I'll apply this. So I have sine squared of x minus 3 uh, minus... 3 sine squared of x. Yes, that's plus 3. There we go. Thank you. Equals 0. Then I can combine my like terms. So now I have 4 sine squared of x minus 3 equals 0. Anybody have questions on where I got to this point? Awesome. Do you understand? You understand how I got the sine over there? Right, to get them on the same side. So you want to get your function on the same side. Then I use Pythagorean identities. Yep. Knowing that cosine equals 1 minus sine squared. So therefore, by using this identity, subtracting sine to the side, I know that cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared. So I plug that in for cosine squared. Then I distributed my negative 3, and I get sine squared of x minus 3 plus 3 sine squared of x. Combine like terms. And now I'm at a point that's familiar like my other two problems that I've completed. Now I can add 3 to the other side. So now I have 4, si four sine squared of x equals positive 3. Divide by 4. And I get sine squared of x equals 3 over 4. Now take the square root, so I have sine squared of x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 divided by 2. So now I need to find all the values of x that equal plus or minus the square root of 3 divided by 2, right? Because you can take the square root of 4, which is going to be 2. Yep, or g less. Here? Here? To go from here to here? Yep, negative 3 times 3. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative sine squared is a positive 3 sine squared. And then that plus that is 4 sine squared. Then minus 3 equals 0. Then I just add 3, divide by 4, undo the square roots, and I'm left with there. So now what we need to do is find all the values when our sine is either positive square root of 3 over 3 or a negative square root of 3. When you take the square root of a rational um, term, you have to take the square root of the top 
and of the denominator. No, the square know. root of 3 is just square root of 3, and the square root of 4 is now going to be 2. Yeah, it divides into 1. 4 divided by 4 is going to be 1. So it divides out into 1. So, So now I just need to find all the values when my sine is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. Well, I have this point, which is at 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. I have this point, which is negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. And I have a horrible unit circle. And this point, which is negative 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. And then at this point, which is comma 1 half, comma negative square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 divided by 2. Because since I took the square root, it has to be positive and negative. So here are my two positive angles, and here are my two negative angles. So by knowing the unit circle, I have to determine what this angle is. So therefore, I can say x is going to be pi over 3. Then I look and see what this angle is. This angle is 2 pi over 3. Here would be 3 pi over 3. So this next angle we know is 4 pi over 3. And the last one right here is going to be 5 pi over 3. So for this problem, on the interval of 0 and 2 pi, is going to have four separate solutions. Okay, any questions?